Hey, what's up? I'm the Glam Guru, and this is the Wagon Top. <laughs> wagon Top. Yeah. Four person tent. Wow. The tent weighs about 19 and a half pounds and packs up pretty nice in this bag. Inside the bag, you're going to find a tent, obviously. These two complicated poles, which you'll see me struggle with later. And lastly, the fly, which is also the vestibule, which is pretty dope. Then you got the stakes. You know what I understand is, why do they give you exactly the number of stakes you need? Like, add two more. How expensive could a f***ing stake be? <laughs> oh yeah, and also you get these two patches for, you know, all those mini holes you're gonna pop in your tent. And that's all you're gonna find in the bag. Uh, that's it. I don't know why I threw that. You know, it never gets old to have the directions like right on the bag. I, I'm sorry, I'm just so surprised every time. The best part about these directions, I was looking and I was like, what is this? And I flipped it over and I'm like, oh! <laughs> Let me show you. Because there's like a constellation map, and of course my dumb ass thought those were the directions at first. Yeah, I'm a pro. But then yeah, I, f I found the actual directions. Go me. Okay, enough of my uh, antics. Let's set the sucker up. And one trick to know which way is the front, there's only one door. Yep, we'll get into that later. Which is obviously the front door. Now you definitely want to stake this tent down. It uses a lot of resistance to go up. And make sure that you put in that green hole, not those two gray holes. Now it is time to set up the poles, and you will see how I F this up beautifully. First off, you're going to see that there's like three different poles that come out of this one little elbow. Then there's going to be this natural curve that you kind of have to like twist the poles around to get the curve in the exact right curve. <laughs> I mean, after that, I thought maybe I was supposed to just stand this up, but then realize you should probably just lay it down. And that worked out perfect. After that, you're going to stick the little poles in the gray pole holes. <laughs> And then I thought I was like the shit, because I thought I was done. It was so easy to do this, you know. Then I got to the second pole, I put it in, and it looked pretty correct to me. I mean, I even started dancing. Then I looked at the directions, and for some reason I got confused because I'm a pro. And I decided to take the back pole and put it with the front pole? What the hell is wrong with me? And then I realized I was right the first time. But real quick, doesn't it look like the Stargate, that movie from the 90s, with Kurt Russell, who's like a badass, just this portal that goes to like, you know, Egypt, it's dope, you should see it. Uh, anyway, I flipped the pole around the way it was before, and uh, yeah, we're good to go. We can actually put the tent up now. Uh, it's pretty damn easy too, just clip it in right around to all the poles. I love how easy this tent is to set up. And so once you're done clipping it in, you'll realize right away that it's a pretty spacious tent, just looking at it, you know? And it's boxy shape really allows for a lot of space inside. I even like this little vent they have in the front here. Funny story is I went inside and when I came back, the tent blew into the woods. Uh, yeah, I guess they didn't put the stakes in well enough, so I got the hammer out, which maybe you should carry with you, it might help with this tent. It could have just been a windy day, but there is also no back doors, so maybe the wind can't pass through easy enough, and it's a little bit more susceptible from wind blowing it all over the place. Just a theory. But no sooner after I was about to stake out the front, I kid you not, the wind picked up, and... Yup, <laughs> it almost blew away again. No joke. So I ran and grabbed the mallet again, and believe it or not, I staked it down again. <laughs> Oh my god. Then I felt like I was in a rush to get the vestibule all staked out. And once that was done, ah, uh, bam, finally. Please, no wind. All right, back to the actual tent review. Uh, the vestibule has this really cool zipper, zips up, zips down, and has this little cover over it so rain can't leak through. Also has this little cinch strap to hold back the vestibule door when you're not using it. One of the things I don't like about this tent is only one door on it. I mean, having a door in the back helps a lot with getting gear without having to climb over all the other stuff to get to it. Also, the actual front door of the tent has no way for you to stash it. There's no cinch strap or nothing. But I will say it has a lot of headspace throughout, which is great. There are two stash pockets, but beyond that, there's nowhere else to put your gear besides, you know, just on the floor. <laughs> I mean, it'd be awesome if there was one above your head, you know? It claims to be a four-person tent, but I'm not sure there's much space beyond just sleeping. I mean, could you imagine these four bros sharing this tent? <laughs> Sorry. There are actual uh, sin straps for the windows, which is amazing, and that vent above. I mean, again, why is there not a sin strap for the door? Come on. I do have to say overall, having had space everywhere in this tent is pretty awesome. Also, I think its visual aesthetic stands out against all those other kind of festival camping tents. And once you get a hang of the poles, it sets up pretty damn fast. And in the end, it's a good tent. It could be great, though, if it just had a couple other features in it. 
Well, that's the Nemo Wagon Top Four Person Tent. Hope you enjoyed. And good luck out there with all your campy and glampy adventures. Hopefully your tent won't fly away like mine. I'm the Glam Guru. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, all those good things. Take care.